Lord Mayor Cuthan, colleagues, partners, friends in Essen. As leader of Sunderland City Council, I should like to take a moment to thank you for inviting your international partners to join you in marking the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. I am also personally delighted to have the opportunity to work with you again. It was a pleasure to host you in Sunderland not long before the COVID pandemic began and to be reminded of just how much our two cities have in common. Tackling racism is crucial to making our world a fair place and a better one for all of us. It remains a global issue and so it is essential that we stand with partners around the world and cooperate on this. It is an honour to work with our partners in Essen, who we know are committed to tackling inequality and to including diverse groups of residents in all elements of city life. I know that you have been marking this international event annually since 2016. I am conscious the theme of this year's events in Germany is Solidarity Unlimited, and I feel that it is especially meaningful at a time where communities around the world are all facing challenges that we could not have imagined a year ago. It is more important than ever that our communities stand together in solidarity and support one another. Sunderland also has a long track record in tackling racism and fostering a strong sense of community cohesion in our city. We are proud to have many partners who deliver activities to support progress on this agenda and who cooperate year round as well as marking this International Day on the 21st of March. We have a citywide hate crime and tension monitoring group here which was established two years ago and tracks any crimes against any minority groups, including on the grounds of race. It supports victims and monitors emerging trends. I am particularly proud of our hate crime champion scheme, which trains champions and has so far trained nearly 10,000 across the city through a collaboration between Sunderland Partnership and Northumbria Police, and for which there are now plans for a training package for schools. Colleagues in the Council work in partnership with other organisations to deliver activities during key times such as Refugee Week, and we always organise a programme of activity during Black History Month, from lectures to guided visits and from sessions with schools to reading lists in our community libraries. Our football club has done some excellent work over the years through the show Races on the Red Card initiative and the University of Sunderland Student Union delivers a well-rounded year-long programme of diversity and inclusion events and sessions. The work that our children and young people's black and minority ethnic network is doing to ensure that all voices are represented is also crucial as is the Equalities Network for our council employees, where I know this very event and our collaboration with Essen was discussed last month. I am grateful to so many organisations. To name just a few working in this area in Sunderland, ICOS, the International Community Organisation of Sunderland, EMAS, the Ethnic Minority Achievement Service for Schools, Sunderland Bangladesh International Centre, the Sunderland Partnerships Equality Forums and partners who come together as the Refugee and Asylum Multi-Agency Meeting. But we are not complacent and we know that there is still work to be done. The reason the UN General Assembly proclaimed the 21st of March the International Day for the Elimination of Racism was to commemorate atrocious police brutality at peaceful anti-apartheid protests in South Africa in 1960. It is worrying to see the parallels in the Black Lives Matter movement some 60 years later, but it is also heartening to see the new dialogues which have been opened up in the last year or so, and to see how many people are willing to come together to tackle the discrimination and intolerance that minority communities still experience. The theme the UN has set for this year's International Day for the Elimination of Racism is Youth Standing Up Against Racism. 
And I think this too is something that fits well the priorities of both our cities, Lord Mayor Coofin. I know that Essen is similar to Sunderland and placing great importance on enabling the participation of our young people in all parts of our city's lives and decision-making processes. Young people have shown great leadership on this topic, and I think we have every reason to be optimistic for a future in which racism can be tackled and one day eliminated. Lord Mayor Coofin, I wish you well with the activities you have planned this fortnight and want to assure you that Sunderland shares Essen's commitment to this challenge. We will work with partners across our city to ensure that our council, our schools, our workplaces, our streets, our green spaces, our sports fields and our cultural organisations are free from racial prejudice and exclusion.